So what's the deal with the hot and cold friction that's listed on the side of a brake pad? Well, we're gonna find out what it means next. This video is sponsored by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper. Visit us online for more information. On the edge of just about every single brake pad you install, you'll notice there's an edge code. There's always two letters in there, and typically for passenger cars, it's E, F, and G. This is the hot and cold friction levels. This is determined using a machine called a chase machine. This is a miniature brake dynamometer with a test that was developed, well, actually back in the 1940s, and it still exists today. The test initially was designed to be a way to certify friction materials coming into a brake pad manufacturer. The first letter is the cold friction level. The second letter is the hot friction level. This is just a basic measurement of the mu of the friction material at certain heat levels of the pad itself and also the drum to see how they interact. This is critical for you. If you pull off a brake pad and the one that you're installing has the wrong edge code, well, you could have problems with that vehicle being able to stop. This could result in a hard pedal or a soft pedal because it's not generating the appropriate friction levels. In some cases with some performance pads that have really high mu, hot and cold, you'll see something called a ZZ. This is a sign that this is a high performance brake pad and probably shouldn't be installed for a vehicle on the road. So next time you get a set of brake pads, look at the edge code. Make sure it matches the one that came off the vehicle, and chances are you've picked the right brake pad for the customer. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.